Well, hello guys, hello, hello, welcome back to the Big Fat Psychic channel. I'm so pleased to be reading again for you today. Oh my word, oh my word. Thank you so much, thank you for, uh, you know, all your comments uh, uh, about my garden. Oh, you know, that makes me so happy, it really does. Because <laughs> at times, you know, I did question my sanity and uh, whether I had gone overboard or not. But anyway, but yeah, I love it and I'm glad you love it too. So uh, I strongly uh, suspect that, you know, we'll be doing a, a few uh, videos in uh, the garden, okay, so... Uh, but brilliant. <gasps> I know, I'm loving it. Anyway, I've still, uh, I was cl cleaning some paint, so I've still got a bit of uh, paint on me, can't get it off my nails, so, because uh, I, I didn't finish till, uh, well, about 10 o'clock last night, uh, and then I was out taking pictures, and then uh, this uh, this morning I had to uh, clean some paint up from some gravel uh, that I had to let just set, you know, so I could scope it all up. But uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, after this video, I'll have clean hands. <laughs> so uh, amazing. Okay, we're going to go straight into uh, Oprah, okay, um, and uh, see, you know, if will she ever do uh, an interview on that interview, okay? Uh, the reason I ask is because we've seen, oh, excuse me. The reason I ask is because uh, we have seen uh, Megan apparently on the Ellen show. Now cast your, cast your man back a few videos ago where we saw, I remember it, uh, the, the strength card and I said a blonde haired woman uh, looks to be taming, uh, trying to tame Megan. Well, that was your Ellen Monta, eh? trying to make her uh, look more uh, human, more uh, normal, you know. Uh, and this is why she's paid people, uh, you know. I think she's starting to finally uh, listen. And we're not going to like it because to some extent it is going to be successful. Okay, Ollie's trying to normalise things and yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we see a, a lot of people in the States not liking them, but, you know, it looks... I, I would have preferred it more for him to uh, F up a few more times, you know what I mean? Uh, and get enough under our belt, but uh, regardless, I don't know. So she's going to carry on and carry on. Uh, and I can only hope that, uh, you know, it is true when uh, Ta Charles at the end of December just goes, that's it, enough is enough. Okay, so, but anyway, yeah, so she's gone to Ellen then, eh? Uh, yeah. Do you know what? I just have to mention about some freaking uh, coffee, Starbucks coffee vouchers, right? Uh, so she gave all her staff, apparently, uh, for working late, uh, you know, to, like, some like, sounded like an, an election, you know, the way they was carrying on about it. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, the 25 bucks for, for some coffee. Well, what about the coffee you own? Eh, that clever coffee. Why didn't you just give him vouchers for that? <laughs> oh my God, what was with that? Eh? I just don't know. You know, why would you link up with Starbucks when you've just been uh, spent? You know, uh, you, uh, not a long back uh, promoting clever coffee, mm. and you got Oprah to do it as well. Uh, some of it doesn't make sense, you know. Some of it doesn't. I've stopped. I've st Tried to stop uh, working them all out. So let's see where we go from here then. Because, you know, I'm hearing uh, that Oprah has cleaned up uh, the internet. Uh, you know, that she's fallen out of favour. She snubbed her at the Obama party. Uh, you know, so so let's have a look then. Let's see if any of this is true. And you're only getting one video today, guys. Because really, I am truly knackered. And I've got to start putting my uh, own home back together again. Uh, I, I've got tools everywhere that need to be geared. I just want to put my feet up after I've done the tea. <laughs> okay, but we'll be back with uh, double videos tomorrow. Okay, so, uh, you know, how does uh, Oprah feel, you know, uh, about Megan? No. How does uh, Oprah feel uh, about, her, you know, her part in the uh, Megan interview, you know? How does she feel uh, about that interview now? Oh, she's not happy. Yeah, it's like she wants to uh, write it off, just write it off. You know, she absolutely wants to write it off. Friends don't feel like that about each other. You know, she wants to write it off. She's uh, said, take it down, take it down. Uh, you know, it's the biggest... Uh, uh, 
biggest crack of shit going, you know. She really has this time, and she's lost out on it as well. She has lost out because uh, that was all over the world, you know. Uh, she had it in every station practically going. Uh, and so now, uh, to, to pull that, she's not just lost uh, a part of her integrity. Oh, all of it, love. Uh, you know, she's lost uh, financially as well because she won't get the revenue now, you know. Um, and, and, yeah, and the fact is, Oh my god, it's like rim, you know, it's like getting a tattoo done <laughs> when you've had a few, uh, you know, uh, in another language, and then they end up typing something on the back of your neck that uh, you can't get rid of. And you really, really want rid of it. You will do anything, <laughs> including <laughs> growing your hair. <laughs> okay, so basically, that's what uh, Oprah wants to know. She wants it removed, you know, she wants this laser out of her uh, off her skin she doesn't want to be associated with it so oh well you know uh i, I wondered you know i thought ellen was oprah's friend you know mind you that you know uh oprah would have probably distanced herself from uh, uh ellen as well it is ellen into e-l-l-e-n yeah okay so you know i, I wonder if she uh distanced uh, herself as well but you know i can always uh ask <laughs> so one bully trying to make the other bully uh, look tame. Oh, can you believe it? Can you believe it? Okay, so we know, uh, you know, some of these rumours and uh, uh, about Oprah not being happy at all with Megan. Uh, you know, okay, so um, will uh, you know, will will Oprah? No, has Oprah considered? Uh, doing an interview one to one. I mean, who could? Who could? Oh, peers, peers, <laughs> get peers. <laughs> oh, I'd love that. Peers uh, interviewing Oprah. What a roasted. <sighs> she wouldn't survive. She would not survive. I tell you what, that it would be TV gold. I tell you what, that would be, uh, you know, more than uh, anything uh, Harry and uh, Meghan uh, could, could hope for. You know, it would be, now that would be TV gold. Oh, Brett, have you, have you considered, uh, you know, doing an interview on that infamous interview? Oh my god, oh my uh, god, oh yes yeah, she has, you know, I think she wants to get together with some, uh, you know, friends, okay, um, and uh, there's a, a celebration here, I think it's uh, been discussed uh, over drinks, I think when she's had a drink, um, you know, she talks more uh, about it, okay, uh, so I don't know whether she drinks alcohol or not, but I suspect uh, she does, okay, uh, I, I really do, so you know, often these people are what they say they are, uh, and they're not, you know, they're, they're not real. Uh, real people have flaws, okay, uh, but, uh, and <laughs> issues. <laughs> but yeah, she's, uh, you know, it's it's, it's like she wants to, uh... so she's getting rid of it, but then she's rejoicing, She she's rejoicing. Now, why would she be rejoicing? The question was, uh, as she thought and considered it, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. I'm also going to say because of get-togethers, okay, I'm going to say she might have already gone past, uh, you know, she's been uh, getting together uh, with, with uh, people uh, and discussing it, okay. And as well, I also think, uh, you know, it could be a, a friend uh, that would interview Oprah. So could it be uh, the other woman who was always spoken things uh I don't know. You'll know. You know, I know. You know who it is. Uh, she's uh, Oprah's uh, backdrop, isn't she? She was always, uh, you know, he, oh, Gail King. That's it. Is it Gail King? So you never know. Uh, that could be uh, on the cards. Ha! Ah, freaking up, sir. You know, will will Oprah give an interview? Will she give an interview? Well, we know we would like her to, okay, and she knows that's what everybody wants, but 
I can't understand uh, if if I'm feeling uh, like she thinks fondly of someone. She's thinking uh, uh, and somebody wants to work with her as well. Somebody's putting an offer in. I do feel this is a younger person. Uh, so maybe it is somebody who wants to, to work with her too. Uh, and, and they feel like they could, they could maybe... Um, these are, this is messages, this is travel, this is journey, this is going to somebody's home, probably done a, a, a you know, a person, you know, I, I can see, the question was, will she do it, well, these are kind of yes cards, it's, it's not a no, it's not a no, it's definitely not a no, okay, uh, so I think, uh, you know, she wants to, I think she wants to, you know, the Nine of Cups sometimes can be thinking, uh, you know, it's a good idea. Uh, it's a good idea or it's favourable to you. You know, you you get some out of it. Okay, uh, so, you know, what's uh, Oprah's uh, next move uh, regarding, uh, you know, Megan and, well, coming out and telling her story? What what would be the next move? Will she do anything about it? Will she just stay as it is? Or will she remain quietly in the background? What is her uh, next move? What does she intend to, to do? Oh, ho, 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 I can't go silent too long, can I? Yeah, you'll all be thinking, bloody hell. And it is, oh, bloody hell. Oh, I'm stumped, I'm stumped. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is the man of, uh, uh, so do you know what? This has really, really been bothering, uh, Oprah. It's absolutely as it's caused her nothing but worry about her reputation, about what, you know, has been said, what was printed. Uh, I don't know if she's got somebody close by, but I feel like somebody's sort of like sat with her. And I do feel like, you know, she has been, uh, you know, uh, really upset, you know. I'm not going to say crying and all this lot, but, you know, I do I just feel like she feels like she's been, uh, you know, had over. I mean, Oprah, you know, no one's that clever, love. Even you uh, can be fallible uh, to, to people, do you know. So uh, I think she's lost a lot, lot of sleep over this. And I think maybe, you know, um, what, what can she do? Can she come forward? Can she come forward? Does she feel she, she feels she can come forward? Do you know what? I, I don't think she wants to make it uh, any worse, okay? But this interview is going to be... Uh, talks about for, for the rest of her life so is her grief and anguish and worry that it's caused and how bad she feels and guilt this is a card of guilt guys uh you know uh is she gonna is that gonna allow her to come forward thus it has the potential to make things even worse but never completely better okay it would only just be under the surface because the damage has been done okay but i'm saying now it's you know it, it's uh it's messed with her head it has messed with her head so that would be the next move then so maybe she could show people uh you know how upset uh it, she has found it but wouldn't that mean turning on megan in public i mean, i can't see that her prayer would do that but then again <laughs> You know, that's my thoughts, uh, not the cards. So let's have a look then. <clears throat> what uh, are the consequences for... for uh, what does her prayer feel, you know, that the consis what consequences has she had to pay because of uh, all the lies? What consequences has uh, her prayer had to face? Yeah. You know, that she's uh, unreliable, uh, that you can't trust her, that all her years of being like a top uh, interviewer, you know, you're only as good as your last job. And that is quite true to a certain extent. Uh, as I say, you know, uh, for me, sometimes I'm only as good as the last favour I did for somebody. You know, it's just, uh, yeah, so she's lost her, hasn't she? she? She can't trust. She needs to take revenge. She needs to take revenge. Uh, this is quite interesting. I actually didn't think that Oprah, as you know, we've got any Catinelle's chance, okay? But I did say before, 
I would see a, an interview with her, you know, and I said that like earlier, uh, real early, a few months ago. Uh, you know, she could do it with the rest of the stuff, but <clears throat> giving her take on it, you know, even if the film and footage is never used, you know, because it belongs to Megan and Harry, uh, she can actually say uh, from her perspective. So, you know, that people don't trust her now. So she has to come back and uh, win back that trust and respect and the only way she can do that is by making herself look a victim of Meghan and Harry. Will we see in, uh, Oprah give an interview and take revenge on Meghan and Harry? <laughs> oh, fuck. Excuse me, excuse me. I nearly choked on my head, swearers. Okay, I've got ruin, disappointment, despair, uh, effects of us. Yeah, uh, she, I, I do feel like she is. I feel like she's. I said, he will she take a revenge? Of course she will, you know, of course she will. She's going to ruin him. Uh, so it doesn't matter, uh, Megan, what you think right now, love, because, uh, you know, Oprah is going to take you down. But I can't help but feel, you know, some of this would be deliberate so that it gets there. Uh, I mean, not from her press. She's truly, truly pissed off, guys. She is really, truly. I mean, <coughs> you know, what was Oprah thinking? You know, I bet she went wonders that uh, herself now. And she, you know, in that case, you know, she is a, a victim of wanting to so much of her own greed and lusting after an interview with somebody from the royal family no matter what she's lost her integrity no matter what okay all those years of hard work down the drain it's ruined her and she, she's gonna ruin uh, megan as well so uh, i do hope uh this is true and that you know uh, but I, I think she's gonna uh, blast uh megan but do you know what? I also think that like this will affect every single one of us in a way. Okay, uh, so could she be uh, doing the old uh, baby story? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, look, if rumours are true that they fell out, then maybe those rumours uh, that you know uh, Oprah knows and uh, chose not to say anything and just turned a blind eye, which makes sense actually, because somebody did say once that. Uh, it was a, a member of staff or something uh, that may have seen it and not Oprah, but they just told Oprah. So, uh, you know, because I, I got that she'd never seen it for herself. Oh, not had it <laughs> confirmed. I think she saw something. But, yeah, she, uh, you know, I, I hope she does. I hope this woman comes out uh, fighting. I hope this woman uh, comes out fighting. That's all she can do, you know, to get that respect back is to look like she was a, a, a victim uh, of Meghan and Harry's and that she was deceived. Now, she'd rather be famous for being deceived by other than, you know, not being truthful. Okay, so uh, I think that's the way it will go there. There's no recourse. There's no recourse at all. And of course, more lies and more lies and how they wrote the book and they said they never, you know, are they lying to these people individually? Or was it, you know, do they share a big bloody plan uh, and have meetings about it, you know? Uh, I suspect that uh, Harry and Meghan did lie to Oprah. And that's why Oprah wants uh, to get her own back. What would be uh, the outcome then uh, of Oprah's uh, move against Harry and Meghan? What will be the outcome for Meghan and Harry uh, when, as Oprah strikes to move, as she takes revenge? What will be the consequences for Harry and Meghan? Well, that's not what I expected. So let me read this right then. I need to read this right. What is going on here? So the magician, okay, starting something, starting something. You know, I think uh, public opinion will be, it'll be something uh, big. It'll be something that makes us go, wow. Okay, so it's maybe something we 
um don't no expect i'll say expect okay so i'm not feeling a big reveal about babies and stuff like that but i am a uh, you know it'll be big uh you know uh, and i also think as well uh This could affect something that they're doing, okay? It could affect something that they're doing, like a, a think tank, uh, tank. So maybe about something like maybe social media, what they've been doing and stuff like that. I'm not seeing it robbing the charity commission or all like that. But it obviously, you know, will uh, have a, a major impact uh, to us. And there's a slight, you know, it's a, I think... A, trickery uh, again even just the slightest whitest uh part of trickery is still like you know again manipulating us and misleading us okay so um yeah i think i think it could have a, an impact okay I, I think it could impact uh on the sussexes uh, and I think, you know, uh, I think also Oprah has got everything she needs. She's got everything she needs on, uh, you know, uh, Harry and Meghan, okay? Uh, so when it says, you know, what will be the outcome, I think it's big. It'll have a, a big, uh, you know, it'll have a big impact. It will hit hard. It will hit hard. It's a, a major arcana. One last card. How does Megan, uh, sorry, how does Oprah feel towards Megan right now? Right, okay, so. Well, they're not talking on the phone. Uh, definitely, you know, there's been communications about using uh, their, their footage, okay? Uh, absolutely, to go. So maybe go all over, but why would you wipe it, okay? Uh, or is it that there's communication about her wiping it, okay? Maybe that's uh, that's uh, what's going on. Maybe, uh, you know, uh, yeah, well, maybe, she, maybe Oprah thinks it as well that by going on TV, you know, things uh, could take a turn for the better, okay? Because as you can see, she's been uh, worried, okay? She's been worried. Yeah, I think that's what she feels. She feels that she has to go uh, and, um, so, you know, sort of take the uh, bull by the horns uh, and sort this out herself. How accurate is this reading? Oh, okay, okay. So we have got somebody unreliable uh, as well here. Okay, uh, so let's have a look. I'm forgetting a world player. A world player. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. I'm so, 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 so blazed. So blazed. Right, okay. So, yeah, uh, you know, I think the, the moral of the story here is that, you know, uh, at first, her found her to be charming and, you know, younger than her, uh, with a, a positive outlook and uh, lots of good ideas and seemed uh, really sincere. And now Oprah has found to her cost uh, that Megan's a player, that's what she thinks of her, that she's someone who can't be depended on, that she's unreliable and every word that she has spoken is bullshit, okay? And she's just waiting for the opportunity. She doesn't think at the moment that the opportunity is now, okay? Uh, so, you know, she's she's that's what she's doing. She's just delaying uh, it, but she has every intention of uh, clearing this up in the future, okay? I cannot see it being before Christmas. Oh, my God, you know what I mean? Uh, but you never know. You never know. 
I do see it uh, at some point, uh, definitely. And I think the the longer it goes on, just you know how bad she Oprah feels, you know. Uh, that's the only way. It's the only way she can. Uh, she, that, Oprah can't sit back, right? She's a control freak, so she can't sit back, relax, and think, "Oh, this will all blow over." You know, it's not blowing over. It's costing her money. She had to take those uh, programs down in what a hundred different countries, you know, and get out of contracts and this that, and the other. It has cost her money, and she is well unhappy. Uh, about it and you know what i reckon she was forced to uh take it down i do i i feel solicitors was involved it was full of inaccuracies uh, and it was uh you know ordered to be removed and taken down because she wouldn't have done that with a conscience and she really wouldn't okay so anyway guys uh that's it for today uh, i'll be back tomorrow i'm going to rest you now i'm going to have a nice shower and uh you know, maybe uh, just sit with a cup uh, and think of nothing. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll be back uh, tomorrow uh, with double the readings. Okay, guys, bye now. Bye-bye.